Welcome back to another video. My name is Brian Nestline. I'm a psychic, clairvoyant, clairaudient, clairsentient, ooh, claircognizant, empath, intuitive, oracle card reader. <laughs> oh, so many labels for this psychic field. And really, it's just as simple as being spiritual. Being a spiritual being, having a human experience, just like you. Everybody is a spiritual being having a human experience. Any type of gifts or abilities are all available to you. You have access to everything based on your beliefs. Based on your beliefs. <laughs> the intuition card comes up. Hello, intuition. What does that even mean? It means that we're going to pay our tuition, pay for our schooling up here in our third eye space. Look, it even looks like my head. <laughs> and there you go. This is just your innermost self, your intuition, your imagination, your intuition, your place where anything is possible. You have this, you use it all day long. It's called your conscious awareness. And up in that space, there are no limitations. Now it looks like a crystal ball. Why? Because we can see the future up in here. What do I mean? I mean that we can imagine and feel a scene inside our third eye space, our indigo space, our in there is where we want to go. <laughs> That's why the third eye is indigo. In there is where we want to go to see the things we want to have come to pass in our futures. In our futures. You're creating or voting for your future by what you hold up in your crystal ball mind. Anything is possible if you believe. No one can prevent you from using your intuition to outline or describe with your words and to feel as if you're watching a little inner movie, to feel like you are present in that scene in your intuitive space. That's why all the chakra colors are there. Because the whole spiritual body comes together in your intuitive imagination space. It really is your whole spiritual countenance, your intuition. So go in here, think about the things you want to see happen in life. And then when you think about them, feel them like they're real. Give them the credit that they are due as a real thing up in here. Treat your imagination like it's real. Stop calling your imagination fantasy or, oh, it's just a childish wish. No, it's as real of an experience as what's happening out in the physical world. Why would I say that? Because everything that happens in the physical world or in your imagination ends up in your memories. It all ends up in the same place, the database of your personal life. As you start to give more credit, and more value and more worth to your intuition or your imagination space, then you're going to start to realize, make real, real eyes. You're going to have a real eye view, a third eye view of the things that you want to see happen, happening right now. And if you're believing that they're happening, then you're going to see evidence of it all around you. You're going to start to see reflections of the things that you imagine and feel. You have to know this. The future is not set in stone. It is directly connected to what you believe, what you think about, what you feel to be true. So a lot of people will go into their imagination and they'll wish for something. Oh, I wish I had more money. And they might even picture like having more money. Ooh, stacking up coins and things. Ooh, an abundance, right? Ooh, that sounds so much fun. They'll go into that faith space and they'll imagine and feel it. <laughs> That's all faith is the assurance of what we're hoping for, the substance of what we will soon see come to pass, faith. They'll go up here though, and they'll imagine and feel it, and then they'll, sit, then they'll let it go and they'll say, oh, that's just wishful thinking. They will then imagine and feel that they just wishfully thought and that it's not possible. So they're using faith by accident to negate what they want. Don't do that, that sucks. Instead, know that you have the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine living inside of you. Who are they? 
They are your words. The divine masculine is the intelligence, the words, the logic, the structure of words, the descriptions of things. Then they have the what? The divine feminine. That's the energy, the emotional experience of the things you describe. The two of them come together. They've overcome the world, the light, the world changes, changes with that crown chakra crystal that forms as a reflection of stuff in the world for you in your material root chakra robe here. Why? <laughs> because your material world is expanding based on what you're imagining and feeling on faith. It starts with intuition. That is the faith space. Look, you can see that purple crystal is growing right here. Let me pick up the card that I knocked out of my own hands. Sometimes you have to take actions on intuition. You can see it right here. It's all right there. These are the things that you're hoping for. Look, this is all about building belief. The reading is here for you in this moment to help encourage you to learn how to build your own beliefs, to create your own future. Huh. Wouldn't you like that? Of course you would. If you follow my channel, if you watch the videos, the readings on this channel, you're going to get fed spiritual information on a daily basis. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and get these free readings. Oh, they're always for you. Be one who participates, right? So what is that? We're going to participate in the alignment of our chakras. What does it mean to align your chakras? It means to know that they are real. Know that you are a spiritual being. And once you admit you're a spiritual being by recognizing your consciousness or your awareness as your spiritual space, that non-material part of our makeup, once you do that, the chakras line up. They all have their functions. They all are in place. They're all waiting for you to wear them like your faith face and participate in the activity of imagining and feeling what you prefer. What does this look like in real life? Ah, uh, it looks like something like this. For me, I'm in a relationship, well, with everybody and everything. Know that you are in a relationship with everyone and everything first. Then, look at how you want the relationship to be. What are some of the components you want to come together in your relationship? What are some of the things that you want to participate in in your relationship with a particular person? Do you want to be that person's friend? If so, Go up in your secret place, go up in imagination space, go up on faith and outline up in here what it looks like to do a friend-like thing. Ooh, I'm doing one right now. I texted a friend of mine. Ooh, they texted me back and they didn't tell me my text was stupid. They didn't say, oh, Brian, screw you. No, they reflected it back in a friendly way. They shared something back to me in a friendly way. And I felt like I had a friend. Ooh, I did all that right up here in my little third eye space, my little crystal ball. I'm telling my own future. It's about to come to pass. Now, the key here is after you imagine and feel something, you've got to forget about it. And you can do that because you can say, wow, it's like it just happened. I just experienced it. So now you can let it go. You can let it go if you feel fulfilled, if you feel like you've had it happen. And the only way to do that is if you give value and credit to your imagination space as a real thing. Treat it like it is reality. Hey, I, that text happened. It's in my memory. I've got the essence of it. And now when I let it go and forget all about it, that's the key. It will automatically come back. This is an impartial deal. You can imagine and feel anything you want up here. And then something is going to go out into the world and start to paint the world differently. That's why she's got the buckets. It's going to paint the world differently to have the experience come back in the future, in the present, in a present when you forget about it. It's all about forgetting about it. You want to imagine and feel it. Yeah, but don't bother doing that so hard to try to make it happen. That's the mistake. Take it. Don't mistake it. Take it in in the moment, imagining and feeling it, then letting it go and letting the impartial power of God, source, universe, the impartial power of faith, that love and light, let those two go ahead and create the experience as a reflection for you. 
Then just go out and participate in whatever's next in your life. Oh, look, I'm making this video and here's a cup of coffee. Now watch, as I focus on the coffee, mm, I take a sip of it, ah, oh, in the present I'm noticing, oh, I like that coffee, it tastes good. Ooh, I'm having a mental and emotional experience, a relationship with the coffee. I'm participating in day-to-day -day what's right in front of me life. I'm making this video. I do all of this stuff and I forget all about that text from my friend. That's the key we want to forget. <laughs> in a way, we want to know that forgetfulness is our friend. Ooh, it is a skill to let go of something. And you can do that just by focusing or participating on something else. Notice when you see the red, you're not thinking blue, yellow, or green. Then you can change it. And now the other one's gone. It's important to be present in the moment, be focusing on something. Then the other things disappear or they get replaced. And then before you know it, it's going to come back around. The thing you imagined and felt will be found in reality. We're going to pull one more card. Use it. Test this out. Don't take my word for it. Go test it out. Imagine and feel a little scene about how you want uh, one of your relationships to go and then let go of it. Don't need it to happen. Don't get all like, oh, it has to happen or else. No. Be grateful that you could imagine and feel it like it was real. Then let it go and move on and you'll see. Boom, boom, boom. The expansion will just occur in your personal world. There it is. There's the, the light and the world that we saw in the faith card. See it? There's the light. That yellow is the light. And there's the world. She's got the world in her hand. So this is this whole new person who is now expanding in the world, having an expansion of what they had on faith. Ah, that's your reading. Boy, isn't it so easy when you know you're a spiritual being having a human experience? You want something that you feel like you need to turn away from today? Some people who are here feel like, Brian, what is it that I need to stop doing? I'll tell you. It's not that you have to really stop doing anything at all. It's have to start accepting the fact that miracles are happening 24-7. Your miracle, the things you imagine and feel and then let go of, will miraculously come jumping out of the ocean of this world of anything is possible. And you'll see them in that moonlight meaning you'll see them when you forget about them you'll see them when it's dark when you haven't any memory of it and then it will surprise you happy birthday every single moment of the day that's what we're talking about and you want one last car before we exit this reading it would be this positive energy Ooh, what's that that means that when you know that you are imagining and feeling and letting go to create whatever you prefer or to vote for whatever you prefer to have it come back, then you're nothing but happy. You've got nothing but energy, energy of light, energy that's positive, because what could ever be against you but your own thinking and your own beliefs? Yeah, enjoy creating the future by voting for it <laughs> up here on Faith. Take care. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.